Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. It's Sunday morning, what better time to review a hair product after getting ready and looking sharp with their hair. Okay, so this is a product which I have recently bought and I absolutely love the effects of the product. It's designed for flat and fine hair. Now you may think straight away that I haven't got flat and fine hair. Well, I have got fine hair, I've just got a lot of it and often it sits flat. So I need to use the right products to get the best looking style. And that's what we're gonna be looking at today whether a product works with you and certainly not against you. So the product which we are looking at today is by Phil Smith and it's this one here. So it's a shampoo and conditioner range. And as I've said, it is for flat, fine, and it's actually for flyaway hair. Okay, so let's just jump straight into it. So the name we've got, Phil Smith and it's Be Gorgeous, Big It Up and it's volume boosting shampoo. So straight away I have to admit I don't like that term Be Gorgeous. Um, when it's when a product is for fine and flat hair I think if you are aiming it straight away at woman I think that straight away you're cutting out half of your, your audience to be honest with you. Um, a lot of consumers of course men and women have fine textured hair but more so I would imagine men have a lot of problems with their hairline, density of hair and everybody wants to look great. They want to feel that good factor of uh, feeling great about themselves themselves whenever and hair tends to affect us quite a lot and especially um, and especially men as well of course because it's so so much more common for men to lose their hair or to have fine textured hair so straight away I have to admit I don't like the term be gorgeous I think there could have been a bit more of a better term there in terms of packaging I think really eye-catching really really great and it's certainly a really nice sort of modern trendy product and certainly I like the terms big it up um, for example if you've got fine textured hair getting that sort of bigness that volume in the hair um, really really great sort of snappy sort of catch um, on the product there so really really like that in terms of packaging yellow it's eye-catching and it certainly stands out um, I recently bought this from Sainsbury so that's a supermarket store here in the UK and I paid two pounds fifty for the product so this is the shampoo and the conditioner so the conditioner is 250 ml and the shampoo is 350 ml and I believe that was down from four pounds fifty and I bought them for two pounds fifty each you can buy it online and I believe the prices do vary and um, I haven't actually seen this brand at all um, it was only just because whenever I'm going out or if I'm looking in stores or supermarkets or what have you um, and I see a new hair product then I and it's aimed at fine hair or for volume or for thicker hair then I will certainly always give it a try so I bought that in Sainsbury so if you are around give it a try yourself and let's get into a detail why I'm suggesting that okay so let's start off with the shampoo so shampoo okay so it's 350 mils we know that it's volume boosting it's instant natural volume and it's for fine flat or flyaway hair with soy proteins so straight off what's soy proteins so if you were to look online about soy proteins there's a lot of evidence out there that soy proteins really helps the health of the scalp and the hair in fact actually products which actually have soy in and actually coming off it ever so slightly which is slightly different soy based products are also really really great for the actual overall health and for hair health so for soy proteins very often if you're buying a product which is for creating thicker hair you will notice that it may have wheat proteins in or soy proteins in and what these properties do in these products is bind to the hair giving the illusion and the appearance of thicker fuller hair and making it fall away from the scalp helping it sort of stand up that sort of coating around the hair which makes the hair stand up thicker fuller and much more easier for you to style so that's what's in the shampoo now let's just read into it a little bit more detail so phil smith is an award-winning celebrity hair stylist with over 20 years of industry experience. The Phil uh, Smith Be Gorgeous collection is part of Phil's essential tool, uh, toolkit to help, to help you be gorgeous every day. Don't really like that, of course, because straight away that jumps out for women. And I think if you're just aiming a product out for women there, and of course I know that the market is huge of men's and women's products, but very often if you're looking for a product which works for volume and thickness for men, you are kind of restricted, especially in a supermarket, because a lot of products are, of course, categorically aimed at women's hair. Um, but of course, why? And this is really, really strange because a lot of young men, a lot of middle-aged men, and possibly even older, if you have hair concerns, you want to have the best hair possible. It boosts your confidence. It makes you have better morale, and it just gives you a little bit more of a youthful appearance. It makes you feel good about yourself, which, of course, everybody wants. Let's go into a little bit more detail in the back here. So this body-boosting shampoo cleanses and conditions without weighing hair down. So vitally important if you've got fine hair you don't want a really heavy 
product and I can vouch for this shampoo it is very light the viscosity of the product and I mean by how thick the product is it's very light it's very fine um, and it's certainly not heavy um, let's go into it a little bit more for natural bounce so formulated with soy proteins and vitamin b5 to promote hair health limp locks be gone now we know with all b vitamins that they're vitally good for for the hair especially b12 and especially for b6 b6 i believe is really health uh, is really good for the health of the actual cuticle of the hair it helps keep the scalp condition uh, scalp conditioned and really gives you the best possible hair health um, there is through using a shampoo and a conditioner product now in terms of this one, it's this shampoo, which I find straight away when you're using it, it's light in texture, it's clear, and it's a really, it, it lathers, first of all, when I first started using it, I thought it was going to be a little bit pro uh, problem problematic um, lathering, lathering it uh, through my hands and into my hair but actually it's really really light um, and it's got a really light texture so straight away you can feel that it's really light and it cleanses your hair it's not harsh the only downfall I would say is the smell unfortunately I was really expecting the smell to be from looking at it really quite modern really quite nice and fresh but unfortunately this is the only downfall I would say it actually smells like PVA glue um, now I'm I've, I've done a lot of crafting and things and I'm I really love art and actually when I was at um, my last years of school um, I done a lot of art projects so I know what those sort of products smell like and it reminds me of that straight away it reminds me of that it's a very clean smell but there is hints of sort of being back in a classroom using PVA with those PVA sticks when you're cutting and sticking of being younger I know it sounds strange but that's exactly what it reminds me of um, so it's not the most pleasant smell I have to admit but I think because it's just the smell you can put up with it because the effects afterwards are very good which we'll get to in just a moment now the conditioner which we will cover in just a moment as well I had high hopes thinking that the smell would be slightly different. In fact, it's slightly worse. In fact, it's quite a clinical smell um, and it's not something which I find amazing to the product. Unfortunately, I think the smell could be so much better, but that's the only sort of downfall I would come across. And of course, using the term be gorgeous, not a fan of that at all, I'm afraid. I think for using that term, you're sort of cutting your target audience in half straight away. Because if, as you're a man, you don't necessarily sort of jump to a product which uses terms and things like that at all. Um, I think it could be because the colours, of course, are very unisex. So I believe that it's modern, it's trendy. I think cutting yourself short slightly with this product here with just that term and certainly with the smell I have to admit I'm not a great fan of that let's carry on with the shampoo here so directions for use so apply shampoo to wet hair from roots to ends gently massage and work into a light lather and it certainly is a light lather I have to admit that as well and um, then rinse thoroughly repeat if necessary now for for anybody who might question why you would want to repeat shampooing um, for example if you've got a lot of hair products in if you've got a lot of texturizing powder hairspray what have you or hair gel um, and of course man and woman um, once I always say to once uh, to rinse all the product out of your hair then the second time this product's got soy proteins in there so the second time is to get the products the sort of the ingredients in the shampoo really get that going on your shampoo on, on your hair rather and your scalp so the first one getting rid of all that product residue the second one getting all those ingredients in the products getting that going on your on your hair and your scalp so Getting rid of the buildup, then the number two, getting those effects on your hair and your scalp. Let's go into a little bit more detail here. And then we have got repeat if necessary for best results, follow with Pick It Up Volume Boosting Conditioner. Perfect point then to move on to the conditioner. So shampoo, just quickly reviewing that. Really light, really, really nice, quite soft on the scalp, doesn't leave me with an irritation at all. I've used it a handful of times. Really nice. Now straight away you can feel that the hair. It's kind of slightly different it feels light it feels airy it feels sort of that straight away you, even if it's wet you you can actually feel the hair and I know that sounds strange but if you've ever used uh, a volumizing shampoo or you've used a moisturizing one and your hair feels like glass which of course is lovely if you've got slightly damaged hair or you use a lot of heat products but it makes your hair almost feel like you've got less of it this here feels really moisturized but it doesn't feel so moisturized that you've got hair which is so sleek you can barely feel hair there it's moisturized and you can actually feel the hair you have and it feels sort of airy it feels quite light even though it's wet so then when you get that towel going throughout your hair it really does make the hair feel really quite nice really quite invigorated light and air and you can feel that sort of movement in the hair straight off now in terms of the conditioner 
I thought this conditioner would be quite heavy, but in fact, it's really light. It's a different texture completely. I would say the shampoo was lighter, but the conditioner is like a light cream based. It's white in color. So it's clear shampoo, white in color for the conditioner. Really nice. Again, I'm sorry, I don't like the smell, but having left it on for a couple of minutes, so doing everything else in the bathroom, then rinsing it out. Okay, the effects what you're left with are pretty amazing, I would have to admit, for a conditioner and a shampoo set. And I'll get into that in just a moment. So let's go through on the back here a little bit. So you've got the same sort of uh, introductory point here about Phil Smith is an award-winning celebrity hairstylist with over 20 years of industry experience. So we've got that. This lightweight conditioner delivers seriously irresistible volume and fullness with a fabulous uh, healthy sheen. The fast track to big hair. Great if you're looking at creating like a pompadour style or a 1950s inspired style like what I've got here with lots of volume. And of course for women and men, if you're looking for volumized styles a great set to use uh, certainly for the cost as well so uh, directions for best results first use big it up volumizing boosting shampoo which we've gone through massage conditioner through lengths and ends of hair avoiding the roots now why would you avoid the roots okay so you would avoid the roots if you've got really fine textured hair because it's thought that if you're putting conditioner on the roots you're getting you're being counterintuitive so you're pushing back on the amount of volume which you might actually create so it can make the hair seem a little bit lank a little bit heavy personally i like to use conditioner throughout my whole hair and i don't feel it makes too much of a difference but if you've got finer hair and quite sort of light see-through hair then certainly just do sort of the ends of the hair because it will give you a bit more texture and a bit more sort of stability at the actual roots by your scalp so that's kind of where they mean by avoiding the roots then we've got rinsing thoroughly to remove all traces of residue now this concerned me a little bit because once you read that you'd think that it's a bit of a cakey conditioner and it stays behind after rinsing it it doesn't do that at all gently towel dry and style as usual OK, so we, we covered that. I don't like the smell. Um, of course, everybody else be your guest. Um, I, you might like it. For me, it does remind me of sort of being in a classroom based uh, using sort of with, <laughs> with sort of glue spreaders and things like that. It's very sort of that crafty sort of glue smell, um, which I can which I get from the product. The conditioner is slightly worse, I have to admit. Um, but you can put up with that. I have to admit it smells clean, um, but it's quite a clinical smell. Um, not my favourite, I have to admit. But getting on to the huge thing about this product, which is lovely. Once you've used the shampoo, I've covered how it makes your hair feel. The conditioner then, what it does is it seems to, and the only way I can kind of, is that it coats the hair all around and it makes the hair stand away from the scalp. Straight off going in with a towel and really sort of invigorating and sort of quickly drying your hair off with a towel. You can feel that it is moisturised, but it's not to the point where you can't feel your hair at all. And it feels like glass and it's so sleek, it feels like you've got no hair at all. And it feels like you've got paper on your head. Not at all. It feels like that it's lifting the hair away. It's working on every single cuticle of the hair. And it's great. It's lifting the hair away from your scalp. And it feels like you've got a bit more hair. The only way I can kind of... Ex uh, I don't want to sort of go over the top by saying that because it does give you volume and it's a product actually where, for example, I've bought it because it says big it up and it's volume boosting and actually does that. I've used so many products where it says volume and boosting sort of hair and it doesn't do that. This one really does. And I actually really quite enjoyed the effect. So after shampooing and conditioning and washing that all out, I left the conditioner on for about 10 minutes and then washed it out. And you will actually notice that straight away, even the fine hairs around your hairline, that it lifts that up because it's a little bit more difficult when you're drying the hair off. You can actually see them sort of just sort of standing away from the scalp. Now, that sounds quite extreme and a bit cheesy. It's not intended to be, but it does give you that effect. It did me anyway. Give it a try. Give it a try yourself. You may find it slightly different. And the interesting thing with these products is everybody is slightly different with what they find. But I have to admit, in terms of volume, brilliant absolutely brilliant 10 out of 10 for volume and i would certainly recommend that product so then after we've used that what did i do so i have got no pre-styling treatment or anything in my hair at all i've literally got my favorite sort of damon radial small brush and then with a blow dryer in one hand i've lifted up from the from my scalp lifting it up quite taut okay so not being crazy and pulling it up but just sort of quite taut lifting it up quite sort of firm but not crazily hard and then with a the blow dryer lifting that volume up very often these products which are put in volume shampoos and conditioners are heat activated so I always tend to use warm blow dryer and then with a small radial brush like this lifting it up I was going for a volume look today so lifting it up quite taut at the base of the, the hair by the scalp lifting it up gently lifting it up towards the ceiling and then directing it backwards 
on the sides, lifting it up again quite firmly but not crazily hard, lifting it up towards the ceiling and then directing it over, and then sort of at the side where you can see I've swooped my hair off to the side here, I've literally just done the same but not so much, and then just quickly brushed that off to the side, and in the back I've kept that quite flat because I don't like loads of volume at the back there at all, I like that to be quite smooth and quite sleek. I've recently given myself my third at home during the lockdown haircut with the help of my amazing mum so that's looking really sharp and I'm liking what's happening there at the moment we've used a 0.5 and I blended up to a 1 and then just to take that sort of puffiness out the sides I've used a 2 the top I'm leaving until the lockdown's over um, Stay positive, it's not going to be forever, but I like longer length hair anyway, and I have to admit, because I use a lot of conditioners and oils and things, the health of my hair on top is really, really good. So it's important to stay at home at the moment, and hope you're staying mentally healthy and well whilst you're staying at home, and stay active and stay well whilst staying at home, and love and support one another in your family and in your home as well. Getting back to it, so then what we've done is we've blow-dried my hair off with that uh, Damon radial brush, okay and then what i've done you would think that i'd use a ton of products i haven't i've literally then held my head over and then i've sprayed it with uh, my favorite um spray which is by schwarzcroft and that's by glue blasting free spray with the yellow can which you've seen on my channel hopefully if not have a look following that i lifted my head back up and then what i've done is i've just combed it into place okay so literally combed it off to place um into place rather i like that 1950 sort of low very much sort of high volume on one side and then swooped off to the side so it looks really cool quite trendy um and then i've just sprayed it over once so what's doing the most effect here of course yes the hairspray but without any good products such as a shampoo and a decent conditioner for building volume and, and getting that that sort of foundation right first of all you can be styling your hair in any which way possible with hairspray and you can be there half the day comb it off to one side and then the opposite side flops with products like this what build great volume and give you that strength and that stability in in the actual hair giving it texture giving it a little bit more resistance brilliant half the battle done for you so i hope you've enjoyed my review today i have to admit this is a favorite product of mine and i will certainly be using it into the near future have a look online you can certainly buy it in this country in sainsbury's but i have seen it online it's a little bit difficult but Give it a go and I'm sure you would be able to find it. And in terms of cost, if you are near a Sainsbury's, it's certainly worth trying it. Um, so really, really happy with that. And unfortunately, the only sort of bugbear with it, or the downfall if you want to call it that, is the smell. Really not so keen on the smell at all. Somebody else might like the smell. They might completely disagree with what the smell is. Um, but yeah, absolutely. So anyway, really, really hope you've enjoyed my clip today. Thank you very much for watching. And as, a, and as ever at the moment, whilst we are going through this awful... Uh, pandemic with the coronavirus my heart and very best wishes goes out to everybody stay safe and with all those um, poor souls which have lost their lives um, as i say my my condolences to all of those families out there as well um, but stay safe stay at home and take care of one another until next time we will see you then thanks very much indeed and stay safe and we will see you then bye bye now